Hello, greetings. Uh, hope I do fairness to the Hindus. I haven't been to India, haven't looked at those Hindus living in India. I live in uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, Dubai. So these are different Hindus. The Hindus I met in London are diff were different. Uh, so very nice with me. And uh, so the thing is that uh, I think some of us have not really understood. And I confess I haven't really understood uh, the Hindus properly as I criticize them also. Not because uh, I, I don't have any conspiracy against the Hindus. I'm from United Arab Emirates. What uh, conspiracy would I have? against the Hindus. My grandfather lived in India most of his life. Before in Pakistan, then in India, Mumbai, I think, or New Delhi. Um, my father's father. So my father told me good things about India. Uh, the Hindus respect our Shia processions and all this. I don't know if even now it would be fair, but what I saw on YouTube uh, earlier uh, when I joined this ex-Muslim, any, any ex-Muslim I used to search and join, subscribe to them and listen to them. So there when um, some Hindu person came and started to attack me like uh, in a way that would I like to be a laundry of Prophet Muhammad, and some of the comments I saw there by the Hindus against uh, Rasulullah Prophet Muhammad. I quickly, uh, I got angry, I got offended. I quickly formed an, uh, a conclusion about the Hindus. For example, someone saying that, uh, get over it, uh, they're playing the victim. They told us uh, Hindustan is a secular state and now uh, the Hindus, uh, you know, attacking like uh, verbally, and uh, they've had a field day when against uh, Prophet Muhammad. But we need to realize I've con I've been contemplating on that. It could be premature. Um, another thing I will talk about is the attack on Army Nawabi in initially uh, when he made uh, sexy Kali and all that. Maybe the Hindus have not been able to explain this properly. So maybe I can explain it because I'm trying to make myself understand and contem I've contemplated a little bit. You see, they were under a lot of uh, this Muslim and then the colonial, but uh, they should get over it. Why? Why should they get over it? Because uh, are you saying they should get over it now because it, uh, Mughals were there a long time ago, did what they did? No, even Muslims are still there in India. They get their freedom. They, they can do what they want to do. Except for the cow thing and all that. And uh, cow lynching sometimes happens there. But they have a lot of freedom. What Muhammad uh, and Abrahamic religion did to the Hindus, demonizing them, not only the practices, but uh, even, excuse me, we are told that it is uh, impure to go near them even, to touch them. So you have to understand the, the, uh, the thing that came out, you know, when they start to see ex-Muslims. And now in India, there's a lot of different, uh, uh, popul it's a lot of population, different people, different uh, cultures. But they have been suppressed for a long time. And only the Western system, the Western people, Europeans gave them the freedom. They could l uh, live freely in London and not be like, uh, we won't touch them and we won't eat from there. So that's why they could mix. It's not because of the cunningness, their cunningness that 
uh, we were told that uh, in Pakistan, uh, the way we were told that uh, there was the Muslim, uh, the Hindu Congress Party and the Muslim, so the Muslim League uh, Party, how we were, you know, appreciating that uh, we don't mix with these Western people and they took, uh, the Hindus took advantage of that. And so, Angrezon ke saath mix ho gaye the. Acha? Or, uh, but, uh, you know, like get on with it and this and that. It's been years now. The Western, if we say something like this, I I think uh, that's not uh, fair for, uh, to the Hindus. Get on with it now. Um, so uh, where we are coming from and where these Hindus are coming from. We have to uh, put ourselves in their shoes. And I, even if I try, I cannot put myself in their shoes right now. So with due respect to them. And I think that uh, I also formed a very early conclusion about these Hindus and their behavior. So, um, it's, uh, I think the Hindus have a very, I, I believe they have, a, I can see, not without proof. If belief comes without proof, then uh, that's not uh, the right kind of belief. That's a blind faith, that is a blind belief that is uh, dangerous. Because then I think bigotry and all this comes in. So how much uh, uh, we respected and loved Muhammad uh, and the Shias, the family of Muhammad, the Sunnis, the companions of Muhammad, that even between the Muslims there was a fight. There was like a cold war between the Sunnis and the Shias in Pakistan. And they've killed many and about uh, when uh, the Shias got uh, upper hand in Iran, they killed uh, the Sunnis, the Sunni minorities in Iran. We don't think of that. We don't think of when the uh, Shias have killed the Baha'i leader. We don't, and the Baha'is, we don't think of that. In Iran, they've done this. And they have been doing that. We don't think of human rights uh, for women. I think we did a lot of idol, uh, this uh, hero worshiping, like the Sunnis tell us that we've made uh, Imam Ali and all this into um, holy, he heroic people who we worship. We worship them, Imam Hussein. So this, uh, doing this, uh, it did not uh, make us, uh, yes, there are our religious scholars, they're very simple, some of them, and most of them actually are very simple. They don't go after happiness and all that. They've given their lives to more serious, uh, only exclusively devoted to this religion and Prophet Muhammad and all this uh, they've done. How should I say it? So, um, but then we, I tried my best to get into this religion and sincerely follow it. But I had some uh, domestic problems. I had, then I became insane myself with this distance mind control. But uh, through one example, I cannot. So there are uh, Shias uh, looking at others. I, I, I can't see. Uh, they, as long as uh, they don't hurt me, but, uh, you know, I could not find uh, that compassion. I could not feel it in my house even, or like people, we say we are very warm people. So then why, why don't the Pakistani warm, Muslim warm, Ar Arabs, get together and support each other. 
I mean, uh, the laps of justice, beggars on the street. We had to close our hearts, our, you know, our thing, our feelings. We had to put us, like, become stone-hearted, living in Karachi, at least, what I saw. It's like a jungle without laws and rules. Anything you can do there, bribe, corruption, head to toe. Another thing is that, uh, what was I thinking? Uh, it's fresh in my mind and this is not professional. Sorry, I, um, and also I'm uh, not very articulate. So you'll have to uh, forbear, forgive me for that and just bear with me as I struggle to find proper words even. Okay, uh, I just paused for a little while to contemplate again of uh, how to put words. Like I was thinking in my own language and now to say this in English, it's uh, become difficult. And it's difficult to express and do justice with words even. So when you're thinking with, you're thinking, you're contemplating, uh, sometimes words don't come. But that feeling also is there. But oh yeah, now I understand emotionally. For example, Armin Nawabi, he made the sexy Kali and all. And lot of Hindus, uh, they shut down the twi his Twitter, I was told. And... Um, also from Facebook or other social media. Um, the Hindus were behind this and so, you know, what, and uh, so I also felt that it was wrong. He was uh, threatened, his life was threatened. He was scared to go to India. He wanted to go to India. So maybe uh, you would think that I'm lopsided and I'm prejudiced, but now I've thought that uh, this Kali Ma and all this death, uh, she hasn't uh, told them to hurt others and call um, this is okay if you what Armin was trying to do you can find out through his channel go to his video like if uh, we thought uh, Hinduism Hindus were peculiar very free people uh, they would understand they would not defend their Kali when he can make a, a cartoon of Muhammad people have eaten Dr. David Wood has uh, eaten uh, the pages of the Quran and, uh, you know, so, uh, apostate prophet has kicked the Quran, this and that. I never said anything. Like, I thought it was not healthy to eat the pages of the Quran and all this. And uh, this is not my way, but uh, I can throw the Quran when I, if I get angry. Like, in my madness, I did once. You know, in Karachi, it was too much. So yes, you uh, if you if I lose my mind, I can uh, I can do that. So um, does it hurt anyone? If it hurts the feelings, if it hurts your feelings, then I'm sorry. It uh, my feelings are hurt too. I've, I've, I was driven in madness to do this. Rasulullah, Rasulullah, my mother. I told my mother not to, uh, why don't you complain to that prophet who allowed, who allows these marriages, like you can, uh, the men can marry, go to travel, uh, six months, they, if they stay away from their wife, their wife is supposed to sit there and say, no, 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 I, uh, it's not haram for me. But it's haram for her husband to not have sex. It is unhealthy, they say. And why haram? And then they will explain that it is so unhealthy. So, okay, am I deviating? What I'm trying to say is you've got to feel this. Everything that uh, passes through us, just like that. Just like that. We don't see when Ari Sultan showed us that uh, we are abusing our children as Shias, putting a razor on their heads and all this, physically abusing the child. And this is wrong. 
a long time ago, Haris Sultan put up a video on that, and I just said, no, no, it's not for Imam Hassan, it's Imam Hussain or something, or Imam Hassan, or and it's not Imam Hussain, the other video. Uh, Imam Hassan married, we, there were rumors. The Umayyads, uh, we are told, spread rumors against Imam Hassan and all this. Okay, so, but I still don't know. So that's what the Shia, as a Shia, we used to say. Now, coming to Prophet Muhammad, if you read the Sunni narrations, even my aunt, every one of us agreed that this is not our Prophet Muhammad. We should, you should take it from Fatima Zahra and because if you read what the companions have written, how it's come through the Umayyads, and what has come through the Umayyads about the Prophet Muhammad, you would not. He's like, what is he? The, um, the Christians already who think so much of their peaceful Jesus Christ and all this? Like, you know, would think, what is this? So we uh, self flagellate the Shias and all this with the Zanjir and Matam, and women do it, men do it with the Zanjir at times. Uh, that's not compulsory. You can do it if you want to. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. No one's going to talk about uh, behind your back or say these things, to, anything bad to, about you. So, um, but the Shias uh, themselves, have, I've heard them saying that, you know, some of our Shias, they even leave the Azan and the Matam, Julus is going on. They should stop and start to pray. And these people like me who were so passionate, I would do st uh, strong Matam, beating of the chest and be very passionate in these things. But in other things like uh, the rituals, which are compulsory, I would miss. And Imam Ali and uh, Imam Jafar Sadiq has said, uh, if you miss your compulsory prayers, what's the use of those other things you're doing? We won't accept you as a Shia. You're not a true Shia or a, let alone a Muslim or, a, and you're not a Mormon believer. You don't miss your namaz. So we have criticized ourselves, I mean our Shias. And uh, the, I was just thinking, the, it was coming to me, uh, why the Hindus, I mean on YouTube and social media, started to attack Army Nawabi verbally and threaten him. One even threatened him or two people, Hindus threatened to kill him. Because this prophet, okay, uh, they're saying that, no, no, we can say what, then how come you are rejoicing when the Hindus are rejoicing when we say anything to Prophet Muhammad? And uh, when we say something against your gods and goddesses, these are myths. But we have been saying it. I don't know why it was such a big deal on the social media. I can I, I can say, haven't we been saying that the Hindus are nijis? But quietly, I don't want to be, we don't, Shias don't want to be rude about it. Right? Just go quietly and tell them you are nijis. We, we don't even want to go near them. So then why live in India? Some Muslims are living in India since uh, partition also. And then you want everything of yours. Even the Western people are sick and tired of some Muslims. Like Austria and now I heard Poland. So if you, if you don't mingle and mix with the country that has uh, been conquered by you Muslims before uh, the Britishers. 
then of course the other person, why, how do you expect the other person to accept you? And uh, when they accept the Hindus, you say, oh, they accept the Hindus. And the Hindus are cunning enough and they exploit this thing with the Westerners and the Europeans and the non-Muslims. So whatever happened against Army Nawabi when he made the Kali, uh, a sexy Kali and all this, I can tell a Hindu, uh, if uh, I didn't tell a friend of mine in London, I, I thought it would be rude, but uh, what uh, I can tell them is that uh, you Hindus are nijis. We can't eat from you. We can't even come close to you. I don't know how the Muslims are living in India with the Hindus. But actually, if you look at our texts, our holy scriptures, we are not allowed to even uh, stand them. They are niches. So it's not, you cannot equate Hindus with the Muslims and Muhammad with Kali Ma. I mean, I used to think, no, no, these Hindus are not going to protect Radharani. They're going for the money, Western world and all this. Until I saw that, oh my God, one of them even threatened to kill Armin Nawabi. But there is this, uh, you see, did, did, they, did they ever say that, uh, okay, they said that this is impure eating, let's suppose, uh, Prabhu, uh, Iskon, the Iskon, uh, creator who, uh, who brought, you know, this Iskon, yeah, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten, sorry. So he, he said that, you know, eating, uh, no, even like uh, doing anything to the cow or eating meat is prohibited. And you will go to hell. Uh, so harming the cow in any way is uh, prohibited in their religion. So maybe um, they would kill, they wouldn't kill, I don't know. But now they're saying that we have given, but did they have a choice in conquering when they were conquered by the Muslim Mughals? Did they have a choice? They were subdued there and then. <laughs> so I wonder when the, uh, when you Hindus get a, Yes, uh, for me it would be very favorable. I don't have to criticize the Hindus. I can claim I'm Radharani, I can show evidence. I don't uh, want to do these kind of uh, things. I'm just saying it because uh, I am Radharani. And I want to see Hindus in the best way. Flourishing, prosperous, and all this. So, uh, if, uh, no, I don't want you to uh, kill someone or threaten someone because they said something against Radharani. I am Radharani. You see, this is the thing. But I may think that this comes from Imam Hussain. How deluded could I be? Now I'm showing how the Shias are deluded also. So no, I, um, if they say anything to your gods and goddesses, why not? It's freedom of speech in the Western world. And you are personally attacking Army Nawabi's mother. He doesn't believe, where's the evidence that uh, your uh, mother Earth or Bhumi Devi or Radharani or uh, Kalima, is she universal? 
it's they say we as Muslims used to think this is all a Hindu myth. These are myths. So let those uh, them say what they want to say. And how can they trust you in this? Is there any trust left? So much poverty there in India. Now my father would come up and say, no, 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 you don't uh, compare India to Pakistan. Yes, I haven't been to India. But I don't want to go there to see that poverty. I just saw a little bit of some a Russian lady is helping out there. What poverty? But this is because they're saying that we were, yes, they were suppressed, they were put down, they were killed even by the Mughals, by the Britishers, all of them. Uh, even the Muslims at the British time suffered. So, but we, I think, uh, out of proportion or something. Okay, what, uh, okay, it, this has been undecided. Army Nawabi can say what he wants to say. Why didn't you Hindus allow him? When you can, oh, because you got up after long, long time, you've been suppressed by the Muslims. Or what? And so it all that brass, that thing that, oh my God, that when you saw the ex-Muslims, you jumped up and down and you said, yeah, thank Bhagwan. I can understand that. I can understand that. But that doesn't mean when then these are atheists who don't believe, who don't want to believe, or whatever, they are rude, they are deceptive. And uh, yes, they will, uh, their freedom of speech, you can uh, say F word like anything, like Armin Nawabi says, idiot, you can call anyone an idiot. I didn't know this was, it was like this in Canada, that you can call a lady an idiot. Yeah, so taking, taking a pause, I thought that if you insult anyone in Canada, that person can bring a, a case against you. I was told by this aunt of mine who is in Canada. She told me on the phone some years back when I was saying things against her sister on social media, Facebook. She said, well, you have the freedom to say what you want. But in Canada, I told, I told her, well, here, here because it's a Muslim, it's different. But there, freedom of speech, liberty, freedom. I was told by this aunt that if you insult or even call someone a stupid person, they, they have the right they can uh, bring a case against you. So do it properly, Hindus. Bring a case against them. Not because your feelings are hurt, but in the, uh, in the Supreme Court or International Court, bring that case against Army Nawabi. Don't do it in a cowardly manner on YouTube, like this, the Pakistani government is doing against Dr. David Wood and the Christians who say anything against Islam. And uh, who else? Ex-Muslims, apostate prophet, Rizwan, others. Maybe Abdullah Samir, I don't, I'm not sure. He never mentioned something like this, uh, that from Pakistan government, he was demonetized or that. He, so, uh, 
Pakistan government, we should have a counter suing on the Pakistan. Did I speak about this or did I get involved in a live stream? So I want to also, but before I do that, yes, I have to finish this. Oh, yeah, I have a counter on the Pakistani government case. Counter sue them. Uh, and about the Hindus uh, who are attacking these ex-Muslims on uh, social media and uh, complaining, reporting against them on Twitter. You, you can get the Canadian government. Do it properly then. Don't do this kind of a thing to bar the army Nawabi from Twitter and Facebook and Susanna, Atheist Republic, getting their accounts completely gone, deleted. So I have to talk about this. It slipped my mind that uh, one of the Indian channels recently. Uh, so I've, okay, I've looked at the thing that, yes, uh, your, uh, for you, your religion is not a, your dharma, sanatan dharma, Hinduism is not a myth, the Hindu gods and goddesses are not a myth. Not for army Nawabi, not for me. And he's an ex-Muslim now, he's, he can put a cartoon, he can kick the uh, Quran, he can burn the Quran, but you will rejoice on that. And then you, uh, I can understand one thing, uh, that as uh, Muslims, we have suppressed you people. We call you nijis impure, <laughs> and we don't understand your feelings. So yes, uh, maybe that, uh, that thing, of, uh, you know, you still have that thing for uh, that anger bottled inside you against the Muslim. I also have it against the Sunni Muslims who killed uh, this party, uh, Sipai Sahiba, these extremists who killed the Shias in Pakistan, killing Hazaras. I don't know tomorrow what I would do if I get the chance to get these. But one has to be diplomatic at times. One has to keep quiet, silent. Imam Ali, my father, told me kept quiet for 30 years. They snatched the, uh, you know, because of uh, Abu Bakr, Omar, and Osman. Uh, so, I cannot say tomorrow what I will do, right? Who knows what tomorrow brings? However, yes, you got your feelings and uh, you you think that your Kali Ma is... I can understand all that. Now, where was I now? Yes, but I cannot under... I, Deeply, I don't understand your feelings. That's true. Right? But then on the other hand, you claim to be secular. You claim to be with the Western, like even better than the Western, Westerners and the Europeans. Yes, you have taken Muslims. Muslims have lived there. You have like taken them in the sense that you have taken their thing. I don't know what the Muslims did in, in India and have been doing. So can we say that uh, Kalima from 
an ex-Muslim atheist, Ani Nawabi. They drew Fatima Zahra uh, and a lesbian I see, I've seen. For me, it doesn't make a difference. They drew Fatima Zahra. He's an atheist. What can I say? To me, it doesn't make a difference. But is this like in our society, like our children? I would say to respect all religions. And for me, it's like this. I, the reason why I don't, it's not because I don't respect Islam. It's because I think Islam is a very dangerous religion. I've seen it, seen it, experienced it, living in Pakistan. Not that uh, I don't respect Muslims. I don't uh, like this religion. It's very, very dangerous. I don't like it. Not uh, even personal opinion. It's uh, proven that it is a very dangerous religion. I've done a video on that. And anyhow, if we look at Muhammad from the Umayyad sources, Sunni sources, uh, so Ami Nawabi has to understand that Indians will come after him. Some Indians will. And some were with him, but uh, the, I guess uh, on social media, uh, one person reported against me on Facebook, one Kashmiri Punjabi. I have been barred for 30 days from Facebook now. So I don't know how many Indians reported, but we as ex-Muslims should realize, they see ex-Muslims. Army Nawabi is a Persian ex-Muslim. He's an Iranian ex-Muslim. He's not a Desi ex-Muslim. If you call Iranians Desi, then I don't know. But uh, they, then Suharis Sultan also, and everyone, they said that uh, how can we, uh, like, uh, we, do, we don't believe in it. We are, so you are telling us that, oh, yes, yes, make cartoons of uh, Muhammad, he's shit, he's a donkey, he's, he's uh, laundry on ke piche, prostitution, this, that. He's a pimp. God knows what names you were calling them. Him. Sorry, calling him. But then you should also take the thing against Kali, sexy Kali or whoever, Ra uh, Radha Rani. I would take it. I took B.B. Fatma Cesara, even as an ex -shia, or uh, I was stuck on, like, I don't have time to waste on these people whether they're going against society or they're doing porn. But bring the proper action. Like, the, uh, like Sadhguru said, this abuse and uh, this will spoil the standard of human beings. As a human being, you're putting yourself down here in the Western world in school, in the workplace, if you are going to say F, F my boss, F that employee, F this, if you can say this in your workplace. Then, okay, do it. Freedom of speech. But an individual also has the freedom to bring a case against you. So uh, take it in the proper law and then raise that issue. But you have no right. I, I understand everything that uh, Muhammad, yes, uh, the, the Hindu gods and goddesses did not say these things. Then someone brings up manuscripts. But they did not say, kill those who do not believe in us. 
it takes a lot of years of uh, rishis did it how many how many of you hindus really have it, uh, been in touch with your gods and goddesses said there it's not practical anymore in this world you have to live eat this is Sadhguru said that whatever system now the, the, from the western side has come or from whichever side has come, we have to accept it. However, the economy is running, how our life is uh, uh, running. We are ru running our lives, career on career, on schooling, on education. This kind of education which is, which molds the child in the brain and what kind of an education is this? But whether we like it or not, we have to go on with this education. It's curbing the creativity of a uh, child. It's taking away the innocence of a child. Artificial, superficial. But we have to go with it. I'm criticizing the Western system of education. Science has given us so much and all this, okay. And now the thing is that, uh, so, do you get my point or am I just all over the place? I can never do this in sequence properly, orderly way. I'm disheveled. Uh, a wire. A wire. So, uh, now I understand a little bit that the Hindus would, uh, to protect uh, their Kali Ma. What was the point? I missed that. Sorry, I missed the point. I'm going to take a break. I'm very, very tired. I think I should not have done this. But since some of it was fresh, I said, let me see how it goes. The point I miss missed is that uh, what uh, Muhammad did, against the Hindu uh, policy is idol worshippers, even Christians and Jews. You cannot compare with the, their Kalima and you have not understood their nature, uh, their, their Dharma, uh, their Hinduism. Let's just keep it short, Hinduism. We called it myths, we called them demons, we called the gods and goddesses misguided demons. You know, now I'm coming out with it. You cannot equate, uh, still I feel whatever the Hindus did on social media against Army Nawabi, I still feel that uh, yeah, it was wrong, but uh, then uh, I have to understand how wrong was it? And how many of them lied to us? And uh, But uh, how many of them say that this is, uh, they, he can say, our mother, uh, don't say anything to my mother because she's real, she's my mother. So now we understand a little bit of Hindus. Uh, and then on the other side, so I'm like a, a stupid lawyer advocate both sides even though I've been abused by Armin Nawabi and I gave him hell but he never said a word to me then in the comment sections it is a wonder of wonders <coughs> he never said a word to me but there on live stream with this friend telling him You know, getting him all, oh, they, maybe to save my life from the American the, uh, CIA. So, India, hasn't India been with America? And Israel. Ah, so that I have to see. I have to be very, um, I'm sorry. You may think I'm being rude or whatever you may put on me. Uh, I forgot to say on Monika's channel about this on live stream. Raise this question on Army Nawabi. 
even though he, uh, I abused him like anything, his grandmother, his everything. Uh, what mother? I kept going on madly. Uh, so don't provoke me. Uh, yeah, so that was wrong and he never said a word then. So isn't he better than some of Let's say I say something something to the Hindus. If they are going to abuse me like that, I will, uh, because I'm in my mad state. I cannot take this kind of a thing. But Hindus uh, don't have, these Hindus here, they're so scared. Uh, you can talk to them, you can tell them, okay, I understand that some of you are cheaters, liars, corrupted politicians. Uh, there was so much going on in India and all that, uh, but, uh, and even not in, uh, at par with the Westerners population. So much poverty in India, no zakat system. So uh, this, my God, people suffering. People on the footpath, I've heard. Urinating there. Hindus don't know how to make a bathroom. Who taught us all these things? We, we are told that Muhammad taught us how to make a bathroom. <laughs> Anyways, who taught us how to make a bathroom? I, I don't know, maybe it came from the secular system. Because in Muhammad's time, they used to go out at these, his wives, we are told, from the Umayya side. So I really don't know. I apologize for that. I thought that all this came from crockery and came from the Islam. Anyhow, let's see a civilized, compassionate, wonderful world. Prosperity, no more wars. This is what I want. And listen, this is, please understand, this is not a conspiracy against Hindus. So I have judged the Hindus too, and I confess. And if you listen to Kushal, and uh, what about that? When Haris Sultan was telling me, that Kushal has told him, at least he's saying it's there because of Modi. I mean, some things I didn't agree to him. I mean, I don't agree to most of his things, but when he said that Kushal says uh, the Hindus have been hurting and all this uh, cow lynching thing, problems have been there, or whatever the problems have been there in India, through the Hindus for a long, long time, longest time. So what about that? I, I, I'm going to mention everything that I now remember, but I still feel okay. I give the Hindus that much, hopefully. I don't know if I'm being, uh, I think I'm being fair, but don't now go, you know, thinking, you people are all great and all this. Uh, but yes, uh, be you humble because your God uh, were very humble. My father told me that the Hindus are very humble, humble people. They touch the feet and all this. And some things we really admire of the Hindus. Uh, the God, uh, Ganesh, rides on a, he has his vahana, a mouse. So the Hindus, I mean, why do I have to tell the Hindus? I mean, isn't the raw, Hindu raw on uh, social media? And please be humble. 
and if you don't like it then the muslims will say well uh, rasulullah is uh, above our father he's not the father of any of you they don't look at that they honor rasulullah they could kill uh, people for rasulullah yeah they could kill people for rasulullah they even could kill a shia for their sahaba you know in pakistan wherever they get a chance even in the western world now so but the hindus don't do this yes they have kept the knives back their their your gods and goddesses haven't taught you to do this kind of a thing and i will talk about happiness and all this so what happiness going after happiness be in bliss be in shiva no no grieve is very beautiful we were told in shia islam i don't want to promote shia islam anymore i know it's a false religion no so i maybe 95% i know it's a false religion 5% is still there. I don't know how to put the percentage. I may be wrong about it. No, no, I think 100% is false religion. Even Shia is sound without the greatest. But sorrow, I don't know how your gurus, maybe, see, I don't, I can speak about it, but I felt it was too premature to talk about it. Anyways, even then, I might change my opinions, okay? Uh, I don't think we should be scared. Oh, we want happiness. Oh, God, Hamagya means uh, grieve, uh, grieving for an honest. Oh, this is bad. I should run away from this. I should go to my guru. But in a very graceful manner, <clears throat> you can be taken out of this. Please, I have, uh, please don't get offended or I, I don't mean to hurt anyone here. I'm just trying to understand and trying to build. So let's see if we can come to a very uh, just thing about the ex-Muslims and these Desi ex-Muslims. And uh, when they say anything against these atheists, if the Desi ex-Muslims have become atheists, and if they say anything against uh, the Hindu dharma or Hindu truths or whatever, yes, I, I feel the words should be right. It's not a religion. Sadhguru has said it and I keep uh, going on in religion. It is their ancient scientific method, Vedas and all, you can then test it in reality. But uh, most of you have, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, what hal kya hai India ka? How many Indians are westernized? I don't know. Are you proud of your religion? Are you really, relig again I've used religion. Way of life, the way they, your goddesses and gods gave you spiritual life, how to live, uh, sustainable that the person HL said very good about uh, Sri Ram and uh, the thing he was explaining I don't want to quote him but I want to use the word he used sustainable saving lives sustaining lives wow what a great word he used so explaining to me the Vedas and all about Sri Ram and Dharma Dharma is, ah, he said Dharma, sorry, Dharma is what is sustainable. So how they solve the problem of whether helping one person or the uh, majority of people who Ram, Ram was a king. So Ram was the leader, their leader. Oh my God. And even calling Ram a leader is something, uh, I think, misleading, right? Avtar, divine, Avtar, 
So yes, I uh, see. I won't do. I won't be able to do justice to words and all this. So that's why I kept my mouth shut. And I, but then I'm glad I went there. I'm glad they took me, uh, Monica, Sharon, and it was a pleasure. It was an honor to be there. And talk to all these people who came. The lady who came. I'm very, very glad. And please forgive me for anything I said or did that hurt someone. I hope not. Okay, it was very wonderful. And still, I will be questioning and looking at this whether it is fair for these ex Muslim atheists to equate uh, these Hindus, even though they got up in protest against uh, the making of a Kali Ma cartoon, a uh, sexy Kali. Okay, I, I still have to do a contemplation, reflection on that. Uh, thank you so much. I'm now tired. I wish I could continue, but I can't. I'll uh, continue later about this thinking of the title of this uh, topic uh, to upload it on YouTube. Thanks a lot. All the best.